Well, 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 we are back. Today we are browsing the depths of a horrible, horrible place called Reddit. But we're not just making like an ordinary YouTuber reaction Reddit video. This one might be a little bit special because somewhere along the line of my 26 years of living, I accumulated this little bit of knowledge that we're gonna be executing today. I mean, we're not executing anybody. We are, uh, dude, this video is already demonetized. All right, if you go to Reddit, here is the homepage of Reddit. Oh my God, why is my boyfriend so upset? Can we blur that? What is this website, dog? To make it clear before this video, I don't claim to be a Redditor. The only times I really use Reddit is when I'm Googling something and I want like the most honest, unfiltered opinions. I'll just Google whatever my question is and just type in Reddit after it. Works every time. Basically, this website is split up to, into a bunch of different subreddits. You know, there's ones like TIFU means today I fucked up. R slash am I overreacting where people want their feedback on ending their four year relationship. There's even a crispy Concord subreddit, which uh, yeah, it, it's it's not uh, it's it's not looking so good anymore. Please post on here. I'd like to make another video on here eventually. Anyways, but today we are doing what you can describe as, I guess, a scavenger hunt. We're going to be going to random subreddits that are randomly generated by Reddit. See, if you go to reddit.com slash r slash random, it takes you to a completely random subreddit. So I think it'd be cool right now if we just explore random things on the internet that we maybe never would have came across on our own, but Reddit is just going to shove it in our faces. So without further ado, I'm going to hit enter and let's see what our first subreddit is. I'm excited. Let's go. R slash j just unsubbed is our first subreddit. What? This sub is for sharing what made you unsubscribe from a subreddit or from other sites. Well, let's uh, let's do some digging, I guess. Let's see. Just unsub from fat squirrel hate. Too many fat squirrel apologists. <laughs> people actually hate fat squirrels? Is that a real thing? I guess maybe that was the purpose of this video, but is r slash fat squirrel hate real? Oh my god, it is. It's fucking huge, too. Publicly shaming greedy and obese squirrels. <laughs> Five hours ago, fatty. He just saw Alvin and the Chipmunks. Can't believe they made one of the tubby fucks a main character. They're trying to glorify the fucking thing. What? Are people actually serious? Typical leftist media trying to indoctrinate our kids through the big screen. Stand strong, brother. Is this like allowed? This is fucking insane. What is like, let's look at the top posts on here. Fat fucks ruin my day. <laughs> this is insane. I'm surprised the fence didn't collapse. Why is this allowed on Instagram? Oh, this one's pretty wholesome. Chester got a promotion and decided to treat himself to a new jacket. Oh, good job, Chester. Let's see what people have to say about that in the comments. Fat fuck is bursting at the seams. Get this hog off my screen. I hope Chester explodes. I hope he gets fired soon. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Dude, these people are fucked up. Is there like a fat squirrel love? There is. This is where we need to go. <laughs> it's the same fucking one for the other subreddit, but it just says, found this guy on Instagram. <laughs> Certified chonk. See, there's a balance with everything. There's a lot of fat squirrel hate, but there's a lot of fat squirrel love. If you look hard enough, you can find it. Anyways, just unsub just sent us down our first rabbit hole. Let's just go to another random one. Let's just see what else Reddit is going to feed us once we type in random. We got r slash TV too high. TVs that are too high. Top post. I tried to stop my parents, but it was too late. <laughs> It's literally just TVs that are too high. Maybe just don't have a TV. Okay, this is actually kind of pissing me off. What? Who is watching that? Oh my God, what is this? Oh no. <laughs> I want to read the comment. I think that's funnier than anything that people actually get mad at this shit. This ruined my day. <laughs> like what? Let's look at the top post of all time. Okay, that actually pisses me off. Great for floor viewing. What in the world? Imagine actually laying on that couch and watching that TV. Your neck would be broken in like 30 minutes. Why even do that? Put it on the fucking stand. Can't believe I'm related to these people. <laughs> oh my God, that's fucking Smash 64. Greatest game ever made. Look at this guy's fucking neck. Ah. Oh. So far we've just seen like pure hatred and nothing else. So let's see if we can balance it out with our next random subreddit, which happens to be r slash Fortnite competitive. Okay. It's just people complaining about the game. All right. All right. Yep. All right, next. Oh, we got the Yeet subreddit. Cardi fans acting like it's a flex that he's bigger than Yeet is so funny. Yeet been in the game for barely three years. The Cardi subreddit might be the funniest thing. I've stumbled across it before. R slash Playboy Cardi. It's just the funniest community ever. Just saw a whale outside of where I live. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> On the Playboy Cardi subreddit. 
with 2,000 upvotes. Like, it's just the most random fucking community ever, bro. Cardi has Discord downloaded on his phone. Where? Oh, he does. Wow. That definitely takes his aura down a few notches. Okay, let's move on. R slash NYC influencer snark. A community for discussion and snark about what, what the hell does snark mean? Snark means snark is an attitude or expression of mocking. Oh, okay, great. This fucking website just breeding hate. Let's see if we agree with any of them, Loki. Let's see. These outfits are so ugly. 700 of what? People are fucking depressed and sad for doing this shit. That is insane. Didn't your parents ever tell you, like, you don't got something nice to say, don't say it type shit? You know, type shit. Yeah, this subreddit is again just people spreading hate. Cringing so hard. Yeah, I guess you gotta do set up a camera to take these pictures. Yeah, I guess it is pretty cringe. For me, like, if people aren't, like, hurting people, it doesn't bother me. I don't get how that gets under people's skin. Let's go to something a little bit more positive, hopefully. We got, uh, r slash learner driver UK. Boy, mate. How'd you know I failed me driver's test? Let's see what people are talking about on here. My instructor went to Aldi during our lesson. Last Saturday, my driving instructor arrived 10 minutes late. He put the postcode in, not my address, and just sat there. Went to Aldi, saying he needed the toilet halfway through a two-hour lesson, and came back with sweets, which he put in the boot. We also swapped back to go home 15 minutes before the end and got home 10 minutes before. Sent him this text. Hi, Barry. Enjoyed the lesson on Saturday. I feel confident to carry on getting better. However, to do this, I need to have the full two hours. And last week, we missed at least 20 minutes. I'm a student, so it doesn't matter to me as the double lessons cost me a lot of money. Moving forward, can I have the full two hours from now on and get extra time if possible? He didn't respond to that, but I thought fair enough. I kept my prepaid book lesson with him and got ready at 7 a.m. this morning. It's online with the red driving school. He didn't cancel. Now he hasn't come. He must have canceled. What a knob! I'm complaining about all of it on Monday, and if I have no luck, it's charge back time, baby. Do not book with red driving school and do not book in bulk before your first lesson. Shit, how do y'all talk like that? That shit hurts. Should have took the sweets out of his boot. Assert dominance. Hello, it looks like you made a mistake. It's supposed to be could have, should have, would have. Sure for could have, would have, should have. Never could have, would have, should have. Or you misspelled something. I ain't checking everything. Yes, I'm a bot. Don't bot criminate me. Suck a fart out my arse, you sad act. All right, enough making fun of British people for today. Let's see what we got next. We got r slash black magic fuckery. Anything that clearly has no other explanation but no good voodoo black magic fuckery. IRL anti-aliasing. <laughs> this is the most reddit post I've ever seen in my life. Upvote. Oh, I think I've seen this video. He drops the- so oh, well, I think okay, it- girl, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, that's crazy. That. Just look at it. <laughs> and he's just like, you know what? I'm out. That was meant to be. I would trust these shoes in my life. Oh. What is happening? Bro got the Black Ops 3 wall running shoes? Is he Australian, though? That would make more sense. They live in the upside down, okay? It's not that impressive. Instant reaction. Oh, let's react to this instant reaction. Chat, chat, was that real? By the way, this is probably the last video that we're not doing on stream because we're back to streaming this week. Link in the description. I'm probably live right now on twitch.tv. Come tune in. We're streaming right now. We're streaming right now. Come watch. Let's see what we got next. R slash US Canada border. All things related to border crossing. This can includes air travel and land crossing. What can y'all possibly be talking about on here? Getting stuck at customs? Let's read this guy's story. How weird do you think this is? I took a bus from Toronto to New York City. When I was at the border, the officer asked me how long I was going to stay in the US and how far I was going. I said about 10 hours in New York City. So he asked, you're going to travel 10 hours, stay in New York City for 10 hours, and then commute back for another 10 hours? And I kindly said, yeah, pretty much. His expression said WTF, even tapped his fellow officer on the elbow with his own elbow, like, get a load of this. I told him I was just going to visit a friend. I needed to get back to Toronto by Monday morning to go to work. His expression was still like WTF. I really was just going to do that. I was going to get laid by a girl I met online <laughs> and talked to for a year. Okay, you could have included that part in the story. I think it would have made more sense. So keep us hanging. Did you get laid or not? I did, yeah. Oh man, congratulations. Rides on the sex. Strict quarter 1822. That far to get laid though? That is some dedication, my friend. All right, what do we got next? We're loading in. We got, oh my God, r slash rap. Why hasn't Arizona had a mainstream rapper yet? What the fuck was that one dude? Uh, Roxanne, Roxanne, isn't that, is that? Uh, oh no, his name is Arizona. <laughs> if you want to be next up, just claim Arizona and then just put Arizona on the map. That's huge, huge strategy. Let's look at the top posts of uh, this month. I bet they're probably talking about Kendrick. Why the hell is Sexy Red Famous. The rapper can't even rap. She can't even form a sentence. She looks like Young Thug's long lost twin. Trying not to find hate challenge on Reddit. Let's see how far we can scroll from here and not find anybody hating. 
Oh, who's the worst rapper in the game right now? <laughs> Can we find a single positive community by doing this? Let's, let's just keep going until we find one. Oh, we got Tampa. I saw it loaded in the URL. R slash Tampa. Let's see what the hell's going on in Tampa. Cows loose in Temple Terrace. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just a cow in the neighborhood. That's so funny. Hell yeah, brother. This is what R slash Tampa's for, folks. More stray cows, less questions about which restaurant you and your jabroni friends should check out this weekend. Thanks, OP. Yeah, thanks, OP. Something about this image looks depressing as hell. They're doing that in Texas, too, where they just build the houses, like, right next to each other. They just want to make as much money as fucking possible. Okay, Tampa, I've seen enough. How about r slash unusual videos? Evil laugh competition. <laughs> Nice. That's horrifying. I hate that. How railway tunnels are cleaned in China. Me when, um... Me when... <laughs> Me when... Okay, never mind. Who the fuck is that? You're telling me that guy's face isn't edited? <laughs> What? It looks like he's a distant relative of, of like Mr. Clean and Markiplier. Eating my cat. Oh, I don't want to watch this. I don't. I will though for you guys. I don't get how people think these things are cute. Oh, their eyes are just soulless. You're not even eating the right part of the banana, bro. You're not even eating the good part. You're eating the peel. Eat the banana. I can't do it anymore. I can't. Anyways, next. R slash ambient. Is this just people taking ambient? Yeah. I've taken ambient to sleep before. It just knocks you out. But if you stay awake, which it's not recommended, definitely don't do that. I've heard of people like driving on it and like posting things on Facebook that they don't remember post. Like it's scary. But let's just see what, what people post on here. Bruno. Pillars of creation. <laughs> it here. <laughs> in the microwave? California. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, rock. rock is here. <laughs> Just imagining somebody on Ambien ordering this. Got all these snacks on my piano. Dude, I think this is why this is funny. It's just the most random shit. I shaved off my eyebrows on- Oh, yeah, that is scary. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. I think we- I think we ended there. Nice little PSA. Do not do drugs. They are not worth it. And come watch the Twitch stream because I'm live right now. The link is in the description. Come watch!